Jacob, the desperate longing of Elisha to stay with his mentor, the great prophet Elijah, as he is about to depart the earth. It's a story about the longing of a disciple for his spiritual teacher and of a seeker longing to hold on to the bright light of God's presence and power. And it goes like this. Now, when God was about to take Elijah up to heaven by a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, for the Holy One has sent me as far as Bethel. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you or abandon you. So they went down to Bethel. The company of the prophets who were in Bethel came out to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that today the Lord will take your master away from you? And he said, Yes, I know. Keep silent. Elijah said to him again, Elisha, stay here, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you or abandon you. So they came to Jericho. The company of the prophets who were at Jericho drew near to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that today the Lord will take your master away from you? And he answered, Yes, I know. Be silent. Then Elijah said to him a third time, Elisha, stay here, for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you or abandon you. So the two of them went on. Fifty men of the company of the prophets also went and stood at some distance from them as they were standing by the Jordan. Then Elijah took his mantle and rolled it up and struck the water. And the water was parted to one side and to the other, so the two of them crossed over on dry ground. And when they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Tell me, what, what can I do for you? What may I do for you, Elisha, before I'm taken from you? And Elisha said, Please let me inherit a double share of your spirit. Elijah responded, You've asked a hard thing. But if you see me as I am being taken from you, it will be granted for you. And if not, it will not. As they continued walking and talking, a chariot of fire and horses of fire separated the two of them. And Elijah ascended in a whirlwind into heaven. And Elijah kept watching and crying out, Father, Father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. But when he could no longer see him, he grasped his own clothes and tore them in two pieces. Here ends the story of Elijah. And Elijah, in our readings for today, may the church... Here, what the Spirit is saying to us 